Yashar, Jasher, 1. And Elohim said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And Elohim created man in his own image. And Elohim formed man from the ground. And he blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul endowed with speech. And Yahuwah said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make unto him a help meet. And Yahuwah caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took away one of his ribs, and he built flesh upon it, and formed it, and brought it to Adam. And Adam awoke from his sleep, and behold, a woman was standing before him. And he said, This is a bone of my bones, and it shall be called woman, for this has been taken from man. And Adam called her name Kuah, for she was the mother of all living. And Elohim blessed them and called their names Adam and Kuah in the day that he created them. And Yahuwah Elohim said, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. And Yahuwah Elohim took Adam and his woman and he placed them in the Garden of Eden to dress it and to guard it. And he commanded them and said unto them, from every tree of the garden you may eat, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in that day, rather in the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. And when Elohim had blessed and commanded them, he went from them, and Adam and his woman dwelt in the garden according to the command which Yahuwah had commanded them. And the serpent, which Elohim had created with them in the garden, rather in the earth, came to them to incite them to transgress the command of Elohim, which he had commanded them. And the serpent enticed and persuaded the woman to eat from the tree of knowledge. And the woman hearkened to the voice of the serpent, and she transgressed the word of Yahuwah, and took from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And she ate, and she took from it and gave also to her man, and he ate. And Adam and his woman transgressed the command of Elohim, which he commanded them. And Elohim knew it, and his anger was kindled against them, and he cursed them. And Yahuwah Elohim drove them that day from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which they were taken. And they went and dwelt at the east of the Garden of Eden, and Adam knew his woman, Kuah, and she bore two sons and three daughters. And she called the name of the firstborn Cain, saying, I have obtained a man from Yahuwah. And the name of the other she called Havel, for she said, In vanity we came into the earth, and in vanity we shall be taken from it. And the boys grew up, and their father gave them a possession in the land. And Cain was a tiller of the ground, and Havel a keeper of sheep. And it was at the expiration of a few years 
that they brought an approximating offering to Yahuwah. And Cain brought from the fruit of the ground, and Havel brought from the firstlings of his flock, from the fat thereof. And Elohim turned and inclined to Havel and his offering, and a fire came down from Yahuwah, from heaven, and consumed it. And unto Cain and his offering, Yahuwah did not turn, and he did not incline to it, for he had brought from the inferior fruit of the ground before Yahuwah. And Cain was jealous against his brother Havel on account of this, and he sought a pretext to slay him. And in some time after, Cain and Havel, his brother, went one day into the field to do their work. And they were both in the field, Cain tilling and plowing his ground, and Havel feeding his flock. And the flock passed that part which Cain had plowed in the ground, and it sorely grieved Cain on this account. And Cain approached his brother Havel in anger, and he said unto him, What is there between me and you, that you come to dwell and bring your flock to feed in my land? And Havel answered his brother Cain and said unto him, what is there between me and you that you shall eat the flesh of my flock and clothe yourself with their wool? And now, therefore, put off the wool of my sheep with which you have clothed yourself and recompense me for their fruit and flesh which you have eaten. And when you shall have done this, I will then go from your land, as you have said, and Cain said to his brother Havel, Surely if I slay you this day, who will require your blood from me? And Havel answered Cain, saying, Surely Elohim, who has made us in the earth, he will avenge my cause, and he will require my blood from you, should you slay me. For Yahuwah is the judge and arbiter. And it is he who will requite man according to his evil. And the wicked man according to the wickedness that he may do upon the earth. And now, if you should slay me here, surely Elohim knows your secret views and will judge you for the evil which you did declare to do unto me this day. And when Cain heard the words which Havel his brother had spoken, behold, the anger of Cain was kindled against his brother Havel for declaring this thing. And Cain hasted and rose up and took the iron part of his plowing instrument with which he suddenly smote his brother and he slew him. And Cain split the blood of his brother Havel upon the earth. And the blood of Havel streamed upon the earth before the flock. And after this, Cain repented having slain his brother. And he was sadly grieved and he wept over him and it vexed him exceedingly. And Cain rose up and dug a hole in the field, wherein he put his brother's body, and he turned the dust over it. And Yahuwah knew what Cain had done to his brother. And Yahuwah appeared to Cain and said unto him, Where is Havel, your brother, that was with you? And Cain dissembled and said, I do not know. Am I to guard my brother? And Yahuwah said unto him, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood 
cries unto me from the ground where you have slain him. For you have slain your brother and have dissembled before me and did imagine in your heart that I saw you not, nor knew all your actions. But you did this thing and did slay your brother for naught, and because he spoke rightly to you. And now, therefore, cursed be you from the ground which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand, and wherein you did bury him. And it shall be with, rather, when you shall till it, it shall no more give you its strength as in the beginning. For thorns and thistles shall the ground produce, and you shall be moving and wandering in the earth until the day of your death. And at that time Cain went out from the presence of Yahuwah, from the place where he was, and he went moving and wandering in the land toward the east of Eden, he and all belonging to him. And Cain knew his woman in those days, and she conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Hanak, saying, in that time, Yahuwah began to give him rest and quiet in the earth. And at that time, Cain also began to build a city. And he built the city, and he called the name of the city Hanak, according to the name of his son. For in those days, Yahuwah had given him rest upon the earth, and he did not move about and wander as in the beginning. And Irad was born to Hanak, and Irad begat Mechuyael, and Mechuyael, rather Mechuyael begat Methusalel, and Methusalel begat Lamech 